So today I'm gonna to be playing Monster High Ghoul Spirit. Why, you may ask. Because I hate myself. And so Eruption, this 47-year-old hopeless loser of a man, was about to embark on a quest, a quest that would surely be the end of him. 47? Oh, well, let's give it a whirl. Letting his eyes glance upon the disc artwork, he picks up Monster High Ghoul Spirit. Despite not being in the target demographic, he decided to pay actual money for an actual copy of this game. Now, let us watch the journey unfold. Well, here we go. Welcome to... A game about making your way up in the high school world. A realistic life simulation. A game about making friends and sharing love with everyone around you. Let's start off by making a character. Uh, I'm gonna go with the name... Uh, Raptipoo. You get a choice of several different monster types for your girl. But I'm gonna go with Gorgon, cause it's like a Medusa snake thing. This hair totally suits me. And I'm gonna go with this green outfit. Cause green is, after all, the best color. We start out in the headmaster's office, ready to pick up our student IDs. We've got a long day ahead of meeting people and making friends, so we'd better be prepared. She tells me that I need to meet up with Dracublara for further instructions. I totally needed some cool talk. Oh my, is this one of those games? Fantastic! Yeah, yeah it is. Yep. There's a bat floating above my head that acts as a GPS. So I'm able to fully zone out and walk from point A to point B with no trouble at all. Tutorial here says I got a message on my eye coffin. It, it's just not even clever. Didn't tell me how to pull it up though, so I'm scrambling around the screen pressing every button. By accident, I put the Wiimote near the bottom of the screen and adventure game style, it pops up. I do, however, notice the absence of a suicide button. I got a text from Claudine. Who the hell is Claudine? And why is she having a wardrobe malfunction? How did she get my number so quickly? I just enrolled in school today! Well, in true video game fashion, I just head to the ghoul's bathroom. So I get there, and the first person I see is Gulia, who... Yeah. Oh god. So here's Claudine. Love the shoes, love the shirt, what's up? Who shares my sense of style. I like you already, girlfriend. She's having a dilemma and is wearing the same outfit as another ghoul. So it's up to me, a Poo, to meet up with Draculara and get the plan moving. But before I go, Claudine shares a couple sentiments with me. Ow! On the way to meet her, I check out my diary to see what all the game has to offer, you know? And that is when I first laid my eyes upon Deuce. Draculara tells me she's willing to help with Claude's makeover and to head to the pool to get a makeup kit and some new shoes. I get a text from Laguna to pick up her swim cap before meeting up with her to get Claude's new shoes, so it's off to Laguna's locker. Lo and behold, we have reached the first game inside of this game. So I reach the pool, where I retrieve the makeup kit, completely forgot about grabbing the shoes, and start heading in whatever direction the bat took me. I run into Frankie, who wants to help Draculara make a new outfit or something, but 17 minutes into playing this and I'm starting to lose my patience. Oh snap, another game. And it's... Taking Measurements. What was I expecting? Somehow I stumble upon Laguna, and for some reason she's Australian. And I was like, she's a beauty! Hey, ghoul. She asks for an extension on helping Claudine because she's got a date tonight or something. I then accept two quests from her and this is starting to feel familiar. Like, I may have played this game before in a completely different form. Like I'm just going through with the motions, zoning out, and entering a living, breathing world that isn't my own. Delivering items from person to person, reaping the rewards for next to no effort. Oh no, the trolls are out again. <laughs> Where was I? Into the Vampa Theater, and Cleo, the mummy here, needs something or whatever. Off to the library. Apparently, Gulia has some enlightening things she needs to say. <laughs> you know, at this point, normally I just stop playing. The mini games here are nothing but press A and waggle, which is standard for a shovelware Wii title. But there's nothing engaging about this. It's just a fantasy high school simulation for super young girls. And I shouldn't feel bad about stopping here. But... 
Claudine seems to enjoy being around me, and I only want to help her out. She's one of my best friends. BFFs, right? I mean, friends don't abandon friends, do they? And that is when Eruption became Eruptapoo. Eruptapoo had become so addicted to running errands for his friends that he became a dedicated mule. He had become close to them and had even made good progress through the campaign. But all this constant work and no play began to take a toll on Eruption. Alright, so I just need to get this cell phone running again. Clamps here, and here, and waggle time. Man, this is taking forever, but I have to do it for Claudine. Too. Oh fuck, I blinked. Mm -hmm. Do I look old as shit? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>